which then brings us to verse 12. And by the way, you could mark verse 12. Uh, it's got all three pillars of eternity in a little uh, short verse. Behold, he created Adam, and by Adam came the fall of man, and because of the fall of man came Jesus Christ, even the Father and the Son, and because of Jesus Christ came the redemption of man. Creation, fall, and atonement. Those are the three pillars upon which the whole plan of our Heavenly Father is, is resting. Those three things have to be in place, called the three pillars of eternity by some of our prophets and apostles from the past. And because of the redemption of man which came by Jesus Christ, they are brought back into the presence of the Lord. Notice who's brought back into the presence of the Lord? Everyone is. Everyone's brought out of the grave, brought back into the presence of the Lord, yea, this is wherein all men are redeemed. Circle all. That's a hundred percent. Everyone gets redeemed into the presence of the Lord and into a resurrected body, but you may not get to dwell in the presence of God, like we talked about in, in Mormon chapter 7. But we're all redeemed, universal redemption, not universal salvation. That's a, a slightly different uh, uh, set of requirements to meet here. Because the death of Christ brings to pass the resurrection, which bringeth to pass a redemption from an endless sleep, from which sleep all, there's that word again, men shall be awakened by the power of God when the trump shall, sh shall sound, and they shall come forth both small and great, and all shall stand before his bar, being redeemed and loosed from this eternal band of death, which death is a temporal death. So you've heard this doctrine from Amulek, you've heard it from Alma, you've heard it from Samuel the Lamanite, you've heard it from Mormon, now you're hearing it from Moroni. It's triangulated. Everyone's going to come out of the grave resurrecting, everyone's going to get brought into the presence of God, everyone's going to be redeemed, but not everyone will stay in the presence of God. Only those who have met the conditions of repentance, who have, have uh, accepted those covenantal agreements that Christ has made with us and that, that God has made with us through Christ, uh, 